Welcome to the next step in cave bot art. It's time to light our paintings with UV LEDs. Here's a quick look at the circuit we're going to be building. Not to worry, we'll be coming back to the image a lot. We've got three triple A's and that equals 4.5 volts. We'll be adding resistors because we really only need 3.4 volts. I've put three in parallel to get the right amount of resistance for the UV LEDs we're going to be using today. Quick tip about LEDs is the long leg is the positive side of the LED and the short leg is the negative. And we'll be using copper foil instead of wire and soldering. The copper foil was really helpful with the cave bond, so I've decided to give it a try on a painting. It's easy to install and is great for temporary projects like this one. I originally bought it because I saw a maker project where someone made a holiday card that lit up and they used this copper foil instead of wiring to make the circuit. At first I just shoved the LEDs in behind the tape but it was a bit fiddly so I, I beefed up the legs by wrapping them with copper foil and then putting them in the circuit. Now that we've seen all the parts, let's look at the circuit again. The power comes out of the positive side of the battery. The resistor cluster reduces it down to the right amount of voltage for the UV LEDs, which are attached together with the copper foil on the positive side. And then the negative side of the LEDs are attached together with more copper foil which then returns back to the negative side of the battery completing the circuit. So the positive side of the circuit copper foil runs down two sides of the canvas and the copper foil runs down the negative side of the circuit on the other two sides of the canvas. There's a simple formula to calculate what kind of resistance you need if you know how much battery power you have and what kind of LEDs you're using. I've barely begun to learn principles of electricity, resistors, power needs, LEDs, etc. So please refer to other people's videos on those specifics. It seems I got lucky and the uh, painting is uh, powered up. Now let's turn off the daytime lights and look at it under UV. The painting glows like this because I use fluorescent paints as some of my choices during the painting process. Next up, we cut up some comic book images and we affix them directly to the canvas. 